Hey builders, uh, Mark here. A quick summary of uh, Midnight Madness. If you weren't able to make it in, unfortunately, or couldn't stay up for it, um, it was a very much uh, US college Midnight Madness, where at the stroke of midnight, we kick things off officially with the very first service launch. It is uh, the new Sumerian service. This is an AR, VR, complete build service. It makes it super simple and uh, from just a web browser, you can build out an entire experience um, and deploy it either to AR or to VR. This is going to be crazy, crazy cool. Um, lots of amazing creative things. There's um, links back into the Amazon.com for content, so you don't even have to um, build out your own 3D models. You can pull them in from Amazon.com. Whole monetization scheme behind it, easy delivery, great linkages into the rest of the ecosystem. Just pff, mind blown, gonna be amazing. Um, check out the live stream with uh, ending with crazy uh, Shaq, uh, Shaq. Like just Shaq, I'm in shock. I'm in shock that Shaq was there. Um, DJ Diesel uh, kicking it at the end. Uh, got a little bit of footage of that. Um, check it out. Okay, so I'm here to this reinvent. Incredibly excited to spend the week with you. I hope you find it really useful for your companies moving forward. And I hope you find the next few days really exciting. So we have now, like, just 10 seconds till the official start. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn it! minutes of that guy's time uninterrupted. He's an awesome guy. What I'd like to do now is invite Kyle Brooks to the screen to the stage. You can keep up with those things. He's Director of Engineering for Amazon Web Services and he will officially launch the first new service at reInvent 2017. Have you guys heard uh, about AR, VR? Have you heard about, you know, what's called virtual reality, augmented reality? There's been actually something that, there's been a lot of excitement around that uh, for the past 18 months or so, but most of the excitement uh, and most of the applications for consumer applications, gaming applications, and, you know, we talked about a lot of customers, a lot of enterprise customers, but they're telling us that it's actually quite difficult to create a great immersive AR or VR experience. It requires specialized hardware, it requires that, that to have specialized programming, 3D knowledge. And wouldn't that be great if customers and enterprises could use their existing skills, like mobile and web development, so right now they're talking AR about AR and AR. And so tonight, I'm super excited to announce AWS Amazon Sumeria, which is a service to make it super easy to create AR and VR applications using web technologies. I think that opens up huge opportunities for our customers. Amazon Sumerian. Uh, it's a browser-based editor, full 3D editor, designed specifically for WebGL. So using nothing more than your browser, you can drag and drop 3D objects to create your AR and VR scenes. Sumerian comes with a visual scripting engine, so it minimizes the amount of code you have to write. If you do want to write code, it's just JavaScript. So uh, we're tightly coupled to the AWS services, Lambda, Dynamo 
MongoDB, AWS IoT. You can basically create a fully connected experience using just your browser. Now the first time you log in to Amazon Sumerian, you're presented with a set of high fidelity 3D templates to help you kind of get started. As an example, this is the 3D warehouse template that we created for you. There's content viewing rooms, there's corporate training centers. I know you're thinking, I'm a JavaScript programmer. I don't want to do artwork. And that's fine. We don't want you to do artwork. It's like nothing ruins that sort of magical sense of immersion of VR more than the back-end programmer doing the artwork, right? So wouldn't it be great if you could use real-world objects in your scenes? So we're over here, yeah. So, Bloggers everywhere use the Amazon Associates program as a way to monetize our digital content. With Sumerian, you can build a scene with objects from Amazon.com. We maintain the link from the object to your 3D scene. And when you publish it, you enter your Amazon Associate ID, and we take care of the rest. Associates can earn as much as 10% on monetization through content. So it's a great opportunity for content developers. Sumerian seeds can be deployed anywhere that supports WebGL. So if you're connected to an Oculus or a Vive, you simply click play and you can dive right in and export your scene. You can also export to augmented reality, like this example up here. We did that in the hallway, right before we came in here, because we're really awesome at prepping. So, that's literally the casino floor. So anyways, like, one of the things that's holding back VR is an interaction model. Like you're immersed, your hands are occupied, Voice becomes the natural medium for interaction. Immersive applications, they should be aware contextually of their user. They need to see and recognize the environment in which they're deployed. Apps need to listen and respond to the users. And presumably you want your applications to also communicate back. So before we go back to the party, we were out there hanging out with Jack before this. Before we start the party, I want to show you one quick feature demo of something from Sumerian. This is called Sumerian Hosts. So Sumerian Hosts are fully interactive 3D characters powered by the Amazon AI set of services, Polly, Let's, and Recognition. You can control them with JavaScript, through the virtual state machine, visual state machine. They can even reach out to the physical world through connections like AWS IoT. All right, you guys want to see it? Yeah! Uh, Christine, would you join us, please? Hello, everyone. Welcome to AWS reInvent 2017. My name is Christine. Hello, Christine. Hello, Kyle. Nice to see you again. So we deployed on a screen equipped with a camera, Sumerian hosts leverage computer vision capabilities of Amazon recognition which supports facial and object detection. Marco, you want to give it a try? Sure. Buonanotte, Cristina. Ciao, Marco. Buonanotte. Anche se tecnicamente è mattina. Yeah, that's great. See, with 25 languages available, it's actually very easy to create bilingual characters. Speaking of, it seems that everyone in Las Vegas is bilingual. I walked here past the blackjack tables, and I heard everyone speaking English, and profanity. Well, that was funny. Thank you, Christine. It was a pleasure meeting all of you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you too. Preston, can you bring yourself online? Coming online now. Hello, my name is Preston. So hosts are capable of gesturing and animating, giving your apps a great sense of presence. Gestures can be triggered through SSML, they can be event-driven, or Sumerian can even infer the gestures based on the audio streams that we get back from Polly. So Preston, before we bring Shaq out, can you give us a couple examples of your gestures, your animations, and maybe do the first dance? As I speak, the speech data triggers animated gestures dynamically. I also have emotes, which trigger expressive movements. Here's one for Happy. <laughs> Now, let's try the board emote. <laughs> I could go on and on, but this is a party, right? It's time for some music. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. I like that. Want to see my dance moves? I named them after AWS services. I call this move Dynamic DD. 
This one is called the Red Shift. Next up is my favorite dance move of all time. Shit, I'm out of frame. Let me move back into place. Now back to my moves. This next dance move has been in beta for 10 years. I call it the Mechanical Turk. If I just keep dancing, I was told Mike will come up and dance for us too. So with that, I'd like to welcome to the stage a legendary Mike George. Thank you. Now, I want to thank all of you, and I want, um, again, for you to let your bodies move to the, to the music of DJ Diesel, none other than Shaquille O'Neal. Thank you. 